So one of the things I wanted to try today on my wild camp for 2024 is the new solar power system I've got here for my bushcraft and wild camping, which is just a nice small little fold upable. It's kind of a DIY job, you'll see. I've basically got two 20 watt solar panels here, which I bought ages ago. Um, and I actually had trimmed it down slightly. This is just a thin epoxy fiberglass. So I've basically trimmed it down so it fits in my pack where you take them apart and they fold faced uh, back to back <clears throat> and so what I've got going on here you can see I've just put some velcro uh, with these plates that stick it together I can put it landscapers or portrait by switching them at 90 degrees as well um, and I've just got these wired in parallel together so that gives us 40 watts um, and this is a new charge controller that I've got very cheap off Aliexpress it's struggling a bit today first time I'm testing it properly in the wild but um, this does MPPT, it does USB-C as well, so you've got a couple of USB ports there and a battery here that you can just keep a you know, lead battery, 12 volt battery charged all the time, but I haven't even got that plugged in, I'm just literally solar panel straight in and then the USB straight out charging my big 70, 80 watt hour battery bank. Then this went right down to one bar earlier, so now it's on two and at the moment it's giving me about 5.7 watts which is pretty menial 6 watts earlier it was giving me 11 watts now it seems to be 5.75 and despite the fact that the sun is actually pretty bright and you can see the sky is not exactly grey it's pretty blue so I can't see why there's no obstruction there's no shadowing or anything on the solar panels so I'm thinking that because they become less efficient as they get hotter and these are quite hot now so I'm thinking that it's reduced down to the 5.66 watt realm rather than 11.1 watt it was getting earlier um, for no other reason that the solar panels have become less efficient as they've got hotter so yeah 5 watts is not really going to cut it if you're talking about 70 watt hours yeah even if I was getting 10 watts that would take 7 hours right for 70 watt hours to be put back in so if this is going to go for about 4 hours probably not even that yeah maybe another three hours i can't see it happening but i just wanted to explain that you know even though this is a 40 watt system and these are pretty good quality solar panels they're not the cheapest in the world i mean i bought them a while ago but yeah that charge controller seems pretty good i have had it in testing environment in lab conditions let's say at 15 watts uh, charging so the fact that that's showing six watts now yeah you have to be realistic about you know what you expect to get out of your solar energy um, when you haven't got perfect clear skies and you don't have perfect alignment and it's hot and everything else right so yeah back at camp so you can see I've just got the solar panels up there on the edge of the field and uh, this is where we're rocking here so yeah make sure you're subscribed keep up to date and I'll keep you updated with everything I've got going on I've got to test my water filter system as well down at the lake with a new electric pump system. So look out for that. And please hit the like button.